Hello, dear. You're welcome to Design Slider Tech. But it is encrypted with BitLocker. And that's why you can see the BitLocker padlock icon on the drive. And I am going to turn it off in this video. If your case is your BitLocker is locked completely and you cannot access your files and data, you need to see some of my videos on how to unlock BitLocker or find your BitLocker recovery key or password. This video is about how to disable BitLocker completely. If you trust the quality of my videos, then let's do this. Go to your Windows Start button and search for Control Panel. Click to open the Control Panel. Then go to System and Security and look for BitLocker Drive Encryption to manage BitLocker. You should see the storage drive that is encrypted with BitLocker. Click on this tiny arrow to expand for more options. Then from the options, click on Turn Off BitLocker. You get this pop-up to confirm you really want to decrypt the drive from BitLocker. Click Turn Off BitLocker. Immediately that is done, you will see the BitLocker icon on the drive has disappeared, which means the BitLocker has been deactivated or decrypted. And in case you want to change your mind to turn on the BitLocker later in the future, just navigate back to this place and you will see the option here that says Turn BitLocker On. So that's how to turn it on and off or decrypt and encrypt the drive. Let me show you another way to activate or deactivate BitLocker. Go to the drive that is affected by BitLocker while you still have the BitLocker padlock icon on it. Right mouse click on the drive and click on Manage BitLocker. This would take you to where you have different options like back up your recovery key, you can change your password, remove password, turn on auto unlock, and turn off BitLocker completely. Just see the options to play around with to suit what you want to do about BitLocker. For those who are still having BitLocker problems after trying the previous methods, let me show you another way to disable BitLocker. I moved to another computer, and the BitLocker issue on this computer is on Drive E, or we call it Volume E, which has BitLocker encryption on it, and we want to disable that BitLocker on this drive. Go to your Windows Starts and search for PowerShell. Right mouse click on PowerShell and run it as administrator. Before you go to the comment section to say this does not work, take note of my emphasis again. Run PowerShell as administrator. For administrative permission, give it a yes. Now you need to let PowerShell figure out the exact drive that has the BitLocker issue, just to be sure that you and PowerShell are on the same track. So you need to type this command text and press the Enter key. This will show you all the drives on the PC and their BitLocker encryption details. This is my drive C or volume C, and the protection status says protection off. So there is no BitLocker problem on my drive C. Here is my volume E or drive E. It has BitLocker version 2.0 on it, and the protection status shows protection on. To deactivate the BitLocker protection, let's type this command. Take note the letter E in the command text is my drive letter or the volume letter. So you should replace the letter E with your drive or volume letter. Press the Enter key when you are done. Now it shows the protection status is now turned off. And my drive E in this PC does not have the BitLocker padlock anymore. And finally, you need to remove the BitLocker encryption from the drive. Go back to PowerShell, type this command and press the Enter key. This process will disable your BitLocker and also remove the BitLocker encryption completely. After all these, if you are still having BitLocker issues, then click here to watch this video for some other solutions to BitLocker issues.